Hi, I'm Marissa, and welcome to Music Theory Boot Camp. Music Theory Boot Camp is for anyone who wants to learn more about music theory. You may know about this, this, and maybe some of these. You've watched those videos that say, learn music theory in 20 minutes, and now you want to learn more. Or maybe you finally listened to your piano teacher who told you that music theory boot camp was the only way you would ever survive college or AP music theory. That's why I'm here. We're gonna start off today on the topic of Roman numerals for chords. What are they? Why do we use them? What's the point of all this anyway? Why did Bach come up with all these crazy rules? Is he turning over in his grave right now listening to modern music? Well, we probably won't address that last one, but the rest of them we'll get into. We use Roman numerals to represent all the different chords that we can build on the notes of a scale. The important thing to remember is that you can only use the notes that are in the scale to make the chords. So for example, we can play a C major scale like this, and we can then turn each note in the scale into its very own chord, like this. Let's break that down a little more. You might have noticed that some of the Roman numerals are capital letters, while some of them are lowercase. The capitals mean that it's a major chord, while the lowercase means that it's a minor chord. You may have also noticed this little circle degrees looking thingy right here. That's a diminished symbol. Diminished chords are kind of like extra minor, minor chords. They're even more depressing and unstable, and they're really good for when you want to transition right to the one chord, which is major. One of the best parts about Roman numerals is that they help us understand how harmony functions in music no matter what the key signature is. So we can play any major scale we want and the Roman numeral chords will still be the same. Minor scales have a slightly different pattern because they're, you know, minor, but they still have their own pattern where every minor key has the same pattern of Roman numerals. When we apply Roman numerals to a piece of music, we can see how the chords change over time. We can see where the tension is and the release comes. That's called a cadence, and we'll get into that in another video. But for now, think of Roman numerals as a roadmap to see what sound you're hearing and when they are. You might have noticed there were some other numbers in that last image besides the Roman numerals themselves. Those extra numbers indicate that the chord was in an inversion. You would normally have the C as the bottom note of a C chord, but with inversions, you can have the E or the G be the bottom of a C chord. So when you write out these inverted chords with Roman numerals, you can indicate which kind of inversion you used with these numbers. The six means it's in first inversion and the little six four means it's in second inversion. The numbers also tell you the interval between the notes in the chord. That's a good shortcut way to remember which one is first inversion and which one is second inversion. So to review, Roman numerals are important because they can tell us what kind of chords are playing and when they happen. Roman numerals are the shorthand that allow us to easily transpose and also understand the function tension or release of the music that we're hearing. That's all for this episode of Music Theory Boot Camp. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this topic, if there's another music theory topic that you would really like me to go over in another video, or if you just want to say hi. Also, please like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Have a good day and see you later.